Hello, everyone. Robert Johnson here of Let's Are you in a good mood today? I hope so, because we're going to play a fun little game. Let's get started. Do you know who this is? This is Max Siegel, the CEO of USATF. That's United States Track and Field, the organization that runs track and field in this country. And the name of the game we're going to be playing today is How Much Money Does Max Siegel Make? Now, this would be an unfair game to play if you're not an expert on nonprofit compensation. So I'm going to help you out. I want to play fair here. Let's take a look at some of the other big nonprofits in America. The Red Cross, one of the biggest, $3.1 billion in revenue, super complex, super huge organization. How much do they pay their CEO? $781,120. Feeding America, even bigger, $4.1 billion, $969,000. That's a lot of money, but these, again, are, are big organizations, huge. So how much do you think Mr. Siegel makes? He runs USATF, which is pretty tiny in comparison. They only had $34.6 million in revenue. 2021, the last year, the, the numbers are available because the organization does not update their financials in a timely fashion. So go ahead, come up with a number in your head. What do you think he makes? $3.8 million. Now that seems high, right? Some of you are probably like, wait, wait, wait. Don't be unfair to him. Running a sports organization is different than running a, a regular nonprofit. Maybe you need certain skill sets, media sets, you know, TV understanding. How much do other, you know, CEOs of sports organizations make? Well, I've done the research. See, Siegel makes $3.8 million. How much does the CEO of USA Gymnastics Swimming and Volleyball make? Swimming has, over more, than has more than $30 million in revenue as well, just like USATF. None of them makes more than $700,000. Siegel makes more than five times that. What about the head of the US OPC? This is the entire Olympic movement, United States Olympic and Paralympic um, organization. They have over $457 million in revenue, 10 times, more than 10 times the size of USATF, almost 15 times the size. Sarah Hirschland, for the first time, Passed a million dollars last year. Siegel makes almost four times that. Now, now, Robert, you're still being unfair. Maybe he's a visionary. Maybe he's totally transformed everything. He's doing things we've never seen before. Okay, let's take a look at the stats. USATF revenue. Is he a super genius? Is he a visionary? We'll see. 2016, 37.3 million. 2017, 35.1 million. Wait, that's going down. 2018, down again, 34.5 million. Oh, there we go, up a little bit, 35.8. Down again in 2020, up in 2021, but you can see the trend. You don't have to be an expert in statistics to see everything generally going down. Less revenue in 2021 than, 2020, than 2016, yet they somehow paid this guy $3.8 million. One thing we're not even factoring in here is inflation. Do you know how much inflation has been gone up since 2016? It's crazy. 26.3%. That means if you had $100 in 2016, you need $126 now just to break even. And if you if you factor that in, the 37.3 million that USATF brought in 2016 would be equal to 47.1 million in 2023. Now, this is crazy. USATF today, the board announced that they've given Max Siegel a new five-year contract. I was so upset I had to make this video. But they mentioned in there that revenue is going to be $40 million. I don't know if that's true or not because they were nowhere close to it last time. But let's say it is $40 million. They still would be 20%, almost 20% below what they should be if they were just maintaining the 2016 revenue if you count in inflation. And yet this guy's going to make a ton of money. I don't get it. What is he good at? He's good at getting an expose written in the Washington Post about his extravagant spending. Use of private planes. He's good at getting the national championships. This year, USA national championships were not aired on NBC for the first time since 2006. He's good at not signing contracts. The Olympic marathon trials are supposed to be in three months in Orlando. The contract hasn't even been signed yet. And he's also good at destroying the attendance in Eugene, Oregon. Used to be known as Tracktown, USA. Now everyone's put so many meets there, people are tired of going to track down USA. So if you're a fan of track and field, if you're a member of USATF, 
I think what the board did today is not good. I would use the word disgraceful. They keep paying Siegel like he's the most amazing visionary in all of the nonprofit world when there's nothing to indicate that. He's grossly overpaid. I hope you raise your voices and do something about it. Thanks so much.